So I wonder if we should do like another one. Like kind of close to this one. I think I will wait with that. You can always put them. Yeah, we can do that. That's true. Uh, this one, is it full done? It's full done. Nice. Yeah, Banto, you're in the wrong world. <laughs> okay, so we need to get up here. So the easiest way for that would probably be to... Yeah, a ladder here would be the easiest if we're gonna go up there. So they can go here, climb over that one, and then build this. So let's see how it will look if we add those things. So we're gonna grab that color. And... Uh, I think it will make it one lower like I did here. I kind of make it almost like a stair going up here. Um, should we do that for this one? We can try it so we get like a similar thing going on. Listening to music while watching you. Good man, good man. What kind of music are you listening to? I might be adding so I can listen to music while I'm live streaming because it's always nice to have some music going. And the good thing is with the different softwares, uh, you can have so I can hear music, but the live stream can hear the music, so there's no copyright problems and stuff like that. If I were you, I would drag a slab and then cut ridges, or it thinks it's 10 buildings. Yeah, the, like, as long as you have it selected, it doesn't matter if I add a building over here, pretty much. That will still be the same building. But something that would be real awesome if I saw that, like, said that on the last live stream, would be if um, we have this one, or like, let's say this building, and then we add another one. It would be so awesome if we can just click this one, Old shift, click that one, combine, and they will be the same template. Because that will help so much when building castles and stuff. Because if you can build like, uh, let's say, four towers that look exactly the same, it's gonna be a very tedious task to do. And you probably have to do block by block on each one, because if you don't do that, you're gonna mess up block somewhere, because it, it's gonna happen. If you haven't like, sit in like, pixel by pixel and like, prepared everything beforehand, like the guy on uh, the Stonehearth Discourse did with his uh, clockwork uh, town thingy. That was really awesome. So I think this is pretty much ready to be built. Should be the same color going there. So let's build that. Should be quick. That guy is still scary. The clockwork town guy. Yeah, it looks really cool. It looks freaking awesome, really. Like, I never sit down and do it like that, but if you have a lot of time, a lot of good ideas, and... Um, you can make really great things if you take your time to do them. But when I design things, I normally, like, I start with the house, and then I start shaping it... out of, uh, you know... It just takes form as I'm doing it. I have, like, a base idea, and then I turn it into something, and uh, usually it kind of works. And sometimes I look for some inspiration for like different kind of roofs or different features some houses have and try to like mash it together with what I'm wanting to do. Can you make a blacksmith yet? Oh yeah, we, we did get a blacksmith hammer from the beginning, right? So um, we could do a blacksmith, I guess. Who was the blacksmith? Or maybe we didn't have someone with a passion for one. Let's go see, see if I didn't miss it. Oh, I can take some Doritos, Brent. That would be nice. Nope, no passion for Blacksmith, but we could still get one. And from the people we have here... Ulf the Stout. Do anyone want Ulf to be named and you will be our blacksmith? Saltlord had good mind, but has the passion to be an uh, herbalist. So I think Ulf could be good. Come my house now? <laughs> Sigrid? Yeah, she could also work, but... Um, 
having a uh, high spirit also affects how to craft things, I think, if I don't remember it wrong. Because that will increase uh, these things, right? The spirit. Let's see here. Uh, compassion determines the maximum trapper pet per count, increase shepherd animal. Every 10 points increase the direct healing. I guess it was this one, so maybe this the mind. That's for gathering XP, and this one is for... Uh, have they changed it with the Pretty Days? I'm pretty sure when I played without Pretty Days that I found out that, that this one affects also how good they craft things. Like, it's not only the mind. But then, I guess Sigrid is gonna remain a farmer since you have the green farmer who wanna make people happy. Since that's uh, the half we're going, half we're shears. So I think Ulf would be a good, good blacksmith. Or Ragnhild, that can also work. But Ulf doesn't have a good body, like a blacksmith normally should have a good body. I mean, is that a bad idea to have a bad body because that will make him move slower? But she's courageous. Should she be our courageous blacksmith? Ben? Oh, Aris has a good body. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Ulf, and I hope that uh, one in body is not gonna be breaking him. So he will still be able to go around fast enough. Okay, nice, the road is done. A goblin with a fancy hat, haha, <laughs> your new kid in the great red territory, this means me less new kid take your lunch. Lunch metaphor, you make for us or else. And he want three garden beds and two u logs, but he's not getting anything. We do have uh, a jarl and a footman, so we should be safe to fight them. But we really should try to get that herbless soon, so salt lord our Larsen, I think I will make him a herbless like this day in game. But you say no, then we take all, take all things. Did we go to blacksmith level 1? Okay, so before we promote, let's see where they got their goblin camp. Okay, it's hidden up here. And this is pretty cool. Look at the goblins, they have like a new skin color, which is cool to see. And this guy looks like he's a little bit shy with those little blushes there. <laughs> Kind of cute, and um, they look pretty cool. I like that having that new skin on them. And it's probably, I guess it's for the Highland biome that has that specific one. And since they're up here, they can't really reach us. We should try to deal with them anyway, but they can't really go down to us. Uh, but let's go for uh, Salt Lord. He's gonna be my herbalist. He's gonna craft some potions and some bandages and stuff for us. Let's see if we can get our blacksmith to work. Ooh! There's a lot of workbenches going on here. I think they're like... ...doublets of everything. Like we got uh, Nordling Anvil, we got Nordling Forge. Blacksmith Crucible. Can be used for and, and melting and working metals or creating alloys. Fire and stone shall give you metal. But with metal and metal, you shall. Um, we'll get even more metal. <laughs> yeah, I wish you could play as goblins. You can with the Brunus mod, can't you? We will do that eventually. I'm not sure how ready that mod is with the goblins though, so... Probably wait a bit, a bit with that. Yeah, you made so you have the Nordlings at the same time as this ones, right? These ones. Uh, then we have the blacksmith kiln, it requires for refining certain materials like wood and coal. Or is this because of the glasswork mod? Okay, nice. And shall- ooh! Enhanced blacksmith anvil. This incredible anvil can keep the metal hot for almost an intricate and powerful crafts. For the most intricate and powerful crafts. That's cool. 
iron ingot and steel ingot. This looks like Project Ace even changed the iron ingot's color, I think. Yeah, the fear I had to debug them in. <laughs> okay, so we need the metal ingot. We're gonna craft that one. And the Nordling Forge, we will be... I think we can melt things in that, right? Do we need both of these? I'm gonna get both of them. And then we're gonna do some copper ingots. It's pretty cool that uh, since we're playing in the highland biome, the copper in the stone also looks different. Like the stone is white because we got these white mountains. So we wanna do. Let's do like maintain 10 of those. 10 of these. And then we're gonna do 10 of the bronze. Good grade fuel. Okay, so we need to get more of that also if we're gonna keep melting things. Okay, we need them all, all of them eventually, okay. Very nice axe, can I get one of those? <laughs> okay, so we're crafting those things, and uh, the anvil should be ready pretty soon then, I guess. Oh, this one is for level 4, okay. Level 2, and this is also level 4. This one looks really cool, and the haunted blacksmith furnace. Ooh, so this one can melt things that one can't. That's nice. Ragnild Holgat achieved villager level 2. I think you need to add a little sort of image here. I guess that's in work as well. More, give more time to, uh, to water so you can do it. <laughs> I guess this size for the farm will do good for now. But I think we need to lower it down. So we can get within 11 to 20, that rate would be nice. So I'm just gonna dig out those and that I think would be enough. Luckily it's not something you see often. That one probably glitched out somewhere. <laughs> okay, we will see. Something I really want to get is to get a shepherd, because normally stone hearth... I don't really care much for my animals, like, because... It's so, like, troublesome, you know, to keep, like, uh, harvest them over and over. But with Project Ace you can have auto-harvest so they collect those things. And uh, I guess they will auto-collect the eggs from the chickens as well. Uh, maybe not works for meat, but I guess it does for like uh, sheep to get wool, right? And chickens hopefully to get eggs. That's good enough for me. And we can actually buy a chicken now. It's kind of weird, like, this will be a normal pet instead of like a normal pollo, like, going around and uh, giving you eggs. <laughs> but this one costs, if you have a shepherd, it's for free. Oh, look at that sheep. Got some nice horns going on. Oh, we have two trapper knives. Nice. So, let's get a trapper. We don't have one yet. Feels like we start to soon need to have some more people here. Who could be a good trapper? Like, let's see here. Brent probably might be a soldier because of the Kuradia status. Not entirely sure. Ragnhild also Kuradia's. Sigrid is having uh, this one for a uh, green farm, so I think she should remain a farmer. I think from these people we have here... Maybe... Maybe Ingrid could work, like it's decently good enough. Because I might want to keep uh, Ragnhild as a soldier later. 
Because she's courageous and she got really good stats also. Oh, wow, my game is running really bad now. It feels like it's when it's raining, the game starts to run really, really bad. I have 18 FPS. <laughs> What's going on, game? Oh, it's probably the water. Probably the water. Yeah, when we dig down, uh, when this is uh, this physics things, if there are any physics going on here, when that is going to move around the water, it will slow down the game quite a bit. So now we have water 20. So I think that will be perfect once we dig this out. That should be around the level we want after that. And then these things are still gonna start to grow faster than they normally do without the water ir irrigation here. Oh wow, these are full? Oh, look at the amount of edibles. Maybe we are harvesting too much of these bushes. I think we're ready to build another house. We're gonna need some more bed spots. This one will give us two more beds, and this one has no bed, this one has two, and this one has two, so that will be six beds in total for the houses. Let's see the invaders. Oh, I think that's that's not the best way to go. To go for the swim. <laughs> I guess that's gonna take a while. <laughs> I guess we should just send down our soldiers and put them out of the misery down there. Well, yeah, we need to get started with the Weaver, the Blacksmith, and the Herbalist. So right after this battle, I'm gonna go make sure that happens. Hey, why are you going away? Wouter, get back here, dude. Maybe he was like, I'm gonna go eat. I'm not gonna fight. Why is he going away all the time? Oh, I'm not gonna blame the game. It's because I disabled the job thing before. <laughs> You're not Aquaman. <laughs> so I think now he should be going to battle normally because of toggle job. Oh, what's going on with UI here? Hmm. That's weird. It could be part of a unit frame thing. Okay, there we go. But let's remove the job again. And later on, blame the game again because Bento forgot to add it back. <laughs> I have so much stuff to loot down there. And uh, okay, let's get these professions. Let's get their work benches. Let's put them to work and so they don't you know, slack around all day. So we want to make some uh, spool of thread here. So I like to maintain around five of each of these. And since we're using Danny's Trapper mod, it's a little bit special with uh, getting the letter, as the Trapper will be uh, working with that. A holiday Shear Cap, that's from the Ace, right? They added a little cap there for uh, Santa thing. It's kind of scary to craft it because if probably Ace decide to remove that once, it's not a holiday anymore. What will happen with the game then? <laughs> Gonna throw some arrows. Okay, another one join us, Hella Asgout. But if you are... Oh, just the recipe, so not the, the item. So you will not be able to craft it, but um, the item will remain. That's a good idea. Okay, so Hella join us. Let's check her out, what stats she got. Four mind, four in body. That's pretty good. Oh, now we have got this weird thing. 
this has happened to me quite often. They leave like one block when you're gonna build stuff. I'm not sure why it happens, like I haven't seen it in a while now, but now I see it again. Did I add a little colored block here that shouldn't be there? You usually remove the blueprint. Like go in here, right? Then I go in here and then save it again. Let's build that the this spot. Nah, no, not like that. Just mean the place it one, but it works. Oh, so just like replace it, put it out again. I'm just gonna go quick to the bathrooms. I will be back very very soon. I'm just gonna I think I can leave the game. I think we should be safe if I turn on the job here. So I'll be back in like a minute. Well, I'm back again. Yeah, bound to laps they're building toilet time. <laughs> okay, they left another block again. Nice, my people. Very nice. Wonder what happens if I Let's pause building and then unpause it. I know if I load the game it will work. Let's just, for fun, like try to place it at the side here, another one. Let's see if they're gonna be able to remove that one. Is it the same spot as it was the very first time, like the very same block? Because if it is same block, then maybe I could just remove that block in the template and put out a new one. Perhaps that will work. Oh, everyone is having a good chat. No one is building, they're just standing around. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Ulf the start. Okay, they're not leaving the same block here at least. Okay, that won't work for some reason. Could it be this place here, like... It could be that under here, for whatever reason... This little landscape here is uh, bugged until um, I load the game again. I'm just gonna try it, maybe for fun, to... Put to, like, build something, like, over it. Just to see if there's... what the bug is. So uh, I'm gonna take uh, the normal thing here. Can I just drag that over and then drag this down like that? And that should cover it, and that's the only thing we're gonna build with it. I'm gonna pause this one. Hmm, it worked on this one, that's weird. Oh well, let's remove that again and then we're gonna build this again. No idea why it happens. But if we move this one, it did work, so that's good. Trader approaches, make us five practice swords and we get two plushy toy rabbit. We can do that one, should be pretty easy to do. So I'm gonna make a few extra ones. They they still have a decent amount of money and we might need them later on. I still wish for a function that you could whenever you click to craft it, like you can hold a hotkey or something like shift or whatever, and uh, you click this one, and that that will put it first in the crafting queue instead of going last in the crafting queue. That's a way to be able to do that would be super useful. 
Trade back in three days, so we have a good amount of time. Uh, let's see here for the Weaver where I can banish this. I think I might put him for now, I will put him close to the farm. Maybe not very next to it, but like up here. Until we have a house for it. Then we can have some, maybe some storage inside here. For the Weaver stuff. Oh, a leather bound chest. Where did we find that one or did I buy it? Because I'm pretty sure we haven't crafted one. And then we can have this one to always try to fill up with maybe some silkweed would be nice. Then we can take some stone finish workshop and these will be dropping whatever we craft. So they drop it quickly there. And let's see where we can have that sitting here maybe. One on this side. So just a temporary little weaver corner pretty much until we have a house for it. Let's remove that one. So let's see with the blacksmith for the stuff we have to put that out as well. And the Nordling Forge. Looking cool. Uh, let's put this one for now next to like the mountain. We can even do it inside of the mountain. Let's do that because we're gonna keep digging in here so the blacksmith for now will be working inside of the mountain and that is close to the resources so that makes sense. Uh, this one is a blacksmith crucible used for the blacksmith for melting and working metals or crafting alloys. So we're gonna drop this one inside here also. That's gonna be good. And once this is out, we'll be able to get the ingots so we can make that anvil. The blacksmith. Ooh, look at that. We get a map table of real high quality. Nice. So uh, let's see what we want to do here with a weaver. We want to craft some things. Ooh, look at that. Ornate curtains. I haven't never seen them before. Is that part of Parodic Taste? It must be, right? It has here be dragons. <laughs> I think this must be pretty Days. Or some other mod has been updated because I've never seen this one. Never seen them. They look cool. Okay, so what we want to do is for sure we want to make some uh, worker outfits. So let's see this one. The soldiers. That's for workers. A fancy Nordling clothing. So I guess we can do this one for the workers. So let's always try to maintain... We only have to maintain like one of them. So whenever we need another one, then we just go and make another one. This bedroll looks kinda nice as well, better than ground, but not really a homely bedding. Very very portable though. And we definitely want to make some scaly leather boots later for the workers, so that will increase the movement speed even a little bit more. And we can make some wall mounted tapestry later also, like to maintain let's say like four of those. What is this? What is what, Buna? Bento's still alive? What's going on? Uh, let's see here. What do we do I want to craft? I want to craft something that... would give us some money. I definitely want to... With this one, we will be able to get a bow, right? Since we're getting some thread. Yeah, I'm gonna stream tomorrow and Sunday as well. But tomorrow and Sunday will start one hour earlier. Throwing axes at Banto! Blacksmith! <laughs> no bow! <laughs> Let's see if we can make a bow.
Oh yeah! <laughs> They use axes, axe throws for gnollings, yeah, I forgot about that. So it should be inside here then, I guess. Throwing axe, that would be a level 3 craft to do. And we need iron for doing that one. So I think we should look into doing a little bit more mining, getting a little bit more coal, getting more like ores so we can melt things. Uh, why don't you have a follow Gibanto? I can look into adding that, I'm not sure if that is um, something Moobot has. Is If it does, I can probably add that later on. So I'm gonna mine out this iron we got up here and uh, I can leave that for now. Uh, we do have some coal just above it, so maybe that would be the best, because if we're gonna go here we have to do more roads to get quicker. So I think uh, going up here would probably be the best option. So then we can dig out... pretty much here would be good. Also carpenter can make charcoal mounds, they can get your coal except for, this, for steel, that needs actual mine coal. Okay, good. So, oh, we beat it again. Scotty Arnwolf has joined us. Has, oh, really bad stats. <laughs> one mind, one body, two spirit. Let's throw her over the cliff. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, but uh, she got a hard, uh, passionate weaver. Which is pretty good, but I think our current weaver also has that. No, she doesn't. Oh. So if you want to make her happy, maybe we can get another weaver. Ooh, guys, look at that. We beat a half upgrade shear. Nice. That was easy. That was probably easier than the other ones. Yay! <laughs> Celebration! Let's upgrade this! Ooh, look at that! Uh, is that the new effect? Embers. Ooh, look at that, guys! Heart of Bliss. Happiness is a true wisdom. First time I've seen this one. Looking good. Little bubbling little pool of water. Embers are from Ace and Dan. Uh, I got the Dan to upgrade that stuff a bit. Nice man. But everyone is cheering now. Everyone should be super happy, as you can see. There should be at least, or maybe they will be after the celebration. That's a reference to the well that Odin drank from. Oh, nice. So now we get the daily update boosted by citizens' morale. So more morale, the better. Tier 2 templates. Oh, we're gonna use them so much. <laughs> tier 2 shops and tier 2 background music. The background music is very welcome. But other ones, like um, the templates, we're not gonna care much about. And as you can see for this house, I do have some jello blocks sitting here. It's simply because first when I made this house, I actually made it jello from the beginning. But I just kept it because it's not visible when it's done later anyway. Seeing as he got a wisdom from a well, nice. Oh, I should have changed this one to be... to be a roof before I put him out. We can just tweak it later if you want to. So in here where we do our cooking, we want to put some stuff here. So we want to make sure we have some vegetable, some food. So many different categories. So, uh, any vegetable, pretty much. Trample plus dot data dot filter dot rod underscore meat. 
I think that is missing some text. Cooking ingredient. Cooking ingredients. Okay, so that's what we want to have for the other side. And we want to also have some fuel so we can use that when we're cooking because that's something we need to do with Prodites as well. So this one's gonna go there. So we need at least one more kind of shelf and let's see which one we're gonna do. Which one is for which crafter? <laughs> I guess this one is for the normal cook. Oh, it says here, villager crafting orders, okay. This would be nice if later on I'm gonna do like a uh, barn and put them up there, some thatch up there. Oh yeah, I forgot to put out the trapper ground. There's so ma many things going on now, so many new professions. But didn't I promote one to be a trapper before? Oh, look at Hella, she's super happy. Who was gonna be the trapper? I guess we can choose a different person. I think it was Reinhild, so maybe we'll go for a different person. Hella could probably do pretty good. Like, we don't really care for the compassion, I think, for our trappers, since she's gonna trap the animals, she's not gonna keep them. Did you run out of stone? That is definitely possible. Okay, I'm gonna go in here and see if we have any stone still. Got some mithril. Hunk of limestone. That should go as good as other stone, right? So then we have a lot of stone. Heavy ordinary rock. And we do have some fuel here, piece of charcoal, bundle of firewood, which you can also use for fuel. Uh, is some my trapper knife like stuck somewhere? Where's the trapper knife? Plenty of fuel for the blacksmith, nice. I think the trapper knife is um, somewhere where we can't reach it. There's some pretty cool doors we could buy. This one looks really cool, the reinforced clay door. Uh, but I'm probably not going to use any clay doors for this town. Okay, I'm not going to buy anything, but we're going to sell some stuff. We have a lot of clay that we want to get rid of. There we go, sold a lot of it. So that will give a lot more space in inventory. And we also want to sell some shields here. Maybe I should try to keep the shields that are a higher quality because I'm using a few of them. And uh, where's the map table? We had one that was even high quality. Where is that one? Is it not in the inventory? I saw it somewhere before. Here it is. Uh, compares compassion affects the number of traps, doesn't it? Oh, I'm not entirely sure. Does it? Do anyone know if it does? It could be true that it, that, is, that it is true, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's see here. The term is the maximum trapper pet count. So that is how many pets they can have, not um, how many they can trap. So I don't think it actually do anything for the trapper if it's going to remain a trapper. But if you would go for shepherd, it would make sense. And I don't think the trapper want to make the animals happy when they get caught in the, the cages. <laughs> but that's good to know. If there isn't any hidden thing that I don't know of, that it doesn't say here, it could be true also. Uh, but I'm still a bit curious where that trapper knife is. It says we have two.
Uh, let's sell these at least. Get a little bit of money. And uh, I guess I could do a new trapper knife. Maybe that one will work. Okay, I'm just gonna do two of them. Oh, we can make some gold flakes. Let's do it now. Level up the mason even more. Okay, so let's see here. The weaver is working a bit, not very much. The blacksmith should be working a tiny bit as well. The herbalist is not in work, so we gotta get him to do a little bit of work as well. That's no problem, man. It's good that you said it so I know for sure how it is as well. How long you will be live for? Um, I think as long as I feel like doing it and my throat is doing good. And so far it's doing better than it did last time, so... Maybe like to 10 or 11 or even more, depends. And also how many people are here also might depend a little bit. If there's only like two people, when it's like uh, 12 o'clock, I probably will shut down the stream then. Invaders, okay. Oh, they're already fighting, but we don't have the music. It should be pretty easy. I love these shields, by the way, from the Nordling Kingdom. I really, really like the Nordlings. They are so awesome. So when will you be live streaming the next time, uh, Noxibona? Oh, I want to try a command, by the way. Because I haven't used it before. I'm just going to see if so I activated it. Because I've been messing around with Moobot a lot today before the live stream to make sure everything is going to work. So like the love command and all those should be working, but I want to see for another command. So okay, now we're going to try this one. So I have that thing so you can... Uh, the mods can shout out, I think only mods can do it. And me, of course. And uh, Bona also live streams. He do space engineers a lot lately. Where he designs some cool space crafts and stuff like that. So feel free to check him out. He's gonna be live later today, it seems. He's a very kind, nice guy. I think I want to do a little bit of um, a road inside of here, but I wonder should we do it like with wood? I guess we could do it with wood, but maybe not the same color we got outside, so it will be like its very own color for the inside, so it doesn't look like it's an outer road, but it's actually an, a new floor in here. Something I would love to have for the game, by the way, you know, we have all these colors. But it would be so amazing to have more patterns, pre-made patterns. And also, maybe even be able to make your own patterns and save them. Uh, so let's see, this one is kind of in the way for the colors. I'm gonna go for brownish one, and uh, tobacco brown could work maybe? So we're just gonna make this one run all the way up here, so we can go around a little bit faster. That should work. We'll probably put an unreal door here later as well. I guess we can do it now already. So we do an... Uh, we could do a stone carved door. It might work. Maybe we just have to drop it after because it doesn't want to hook there. But maybe, maybe if we do... I think we do this thing and then add a door. I think it will be hooking into that. No? That's weird. What if we do a uh, normal wall then? And we have to really like lower it. We can add maybe the door first if it works. Hmm. Uh, why is it not working? Okay, so I guess we just add it after.
Little spoilers for the chat. Hmm, I wonder what that is. The love for our beloved dear leader Banto transcends all from Brent. Thank you, Brent. Let's just do it a little bit more nice since we're doing a road here. Uh, maybe here we will stop like that. Okay, that should be good. Only 37%? Guess we gotta stop playing now then. A free villager, nice. Uh, let's see here, how are we doing with the water levels? Oh, still 21. And uh, I think later on uh, when we get further in the game we will get an engineer. And with an engineer we can move water with water pumps and stuff. Bento turning into mole people. <laughs> if it doesn't say anything with the commands uh, and the cooldown for it. It's like 10 seconds or 20? It could have been changed because I um, changed the move bot a bit recently. That's 30 second cooldown. But I think if there is a cooldown, you will still get like the message in a uh, private message too. But let's see here, if we can get that door, we're gonna craft the stone carved door, I think that's gonna look nice for the mine entrance. What's my mason doing? Restocking items. Shouldn't he be crafting things? Why is it called Moobot? Is it a cow? <laughs> Ah, oh, we do have a weaver, we do have one. And uh, we got uh, the workbench just sitting down here. And we're making some basic um, thread and some cloth so far. Oh, there's the anvil for the blacksmith. We're gonna put that inside the mountain soon. Uh, I just want to see where my mason... Where's my mason now? J, I think it is the follow right. Because if you have thread and cloth, you can make better shields. Check the carpenter. Okay, I'm gonna check it soon. I just want to see what my mason is actually doing, because the mason has things to do, but I don't see the mason doing them. Mining. What are you doing, mason? You should be working. Is it this one on the wrong side? No, that should be the correct side, right? 1% <laughs> love between nomadic and hightail. I want to see how much I have. I hope it's high. Hope is high, pray to God. <laughs> oh, 97! Yes! <laughs> Perfect, awesome! And when Hytale comes out, guys, I think I will be live streaming that, if that's something you guys would be interested in. Could even be possible maybe to let people like join and play on the same server, maybe? We will see. I know my friend wanna play it as well, so I probably also will play it a lot off stream as well. Nice, we beat the daily goal again. Who joins? Vigdis Vargner something. A lot of girls joining. I feel like I want to get a few Magai names. We have a lot of names uh, open for grabs here. Mostly our girls, but we do have Valdemar, which is a guy. And then we have a lot of girl names. If you have a name, let me know. 75% love, that's better. So I moved up uh, the mason here in hopes that he's gonna do something. It's not sure that he will, but maybe. I'm gonna drop some shells for him. Actually, the mason. Let's put him inside of uh, the mountain as well. I think we're slowly becoming like a uh, dwarven kingdom moving into that, to the mountains. So did we drop the work benches and then we're gonna have some... Workshelves to drop the goods. I think we do them at this side. 
go, got two of them there. And some of these to put some stone on. We do have a lot of stone here, so it's not even sure we need it, but I'm gonna do like one at least. So let's check out the, the carpenter like Walter said. We can make maybe some better shields. So it should be this one, the wood round shield. A little bit of cloth and a little bit of thread. So we're gonna make two of those. There we go. Love Gunilla Passon. <laughs> you wanna build in high tail? Uh, oh yeah, market stall. We need to do those. We can start selling and trading things. A market trading shelf, we can also do them. So other places and travelers can buy goods. I'm not sure if we will get random travelers like this early on or not. We can do two of those. And we also want to make a runic uh, wooden comb, a nice upgrade for armor. And this is something I really want to see with the, like, the archer. I guess we won't see it since we have axe throwers. But this is from Project Ace. It's a crossbow and I think it's cool to see something like that. Yeah, you really want to build in Hightail? Nice. <laughs> Why Gunilla? <laughs> Okay, so that should be good. Let's move these shields. Um, let's see here. We don't have to craft that one. We will get it from maintaining. So let's redo this and we're just gonna add two of those. Instead I'm gonna drag them to the top. Did I miss the trading by the way? Or haven't uh, they been back yet? So there we go at the very top. I'm not sure how the carpenter is crafting two things at the same time. It looks scary. Now it's three times. Three things. But we had something special. <laughs> was it... Uh, was it Gunilla that was in Biggest Loser? Or who of them was that? Okay, let's see here. Can we put this? Yeah, we can. Okay, so we're just gonna wait until we build that. Running low on wood. We're spending a lot of wood for our shields and everything. So let's see. I'm just gonna harvest them instead of replanting, and then I will plant them myself later. I wonder if we have someone promoted to a trapper yet. No? So where do we have these uh, trapper knives? But isn't Gunilla the one that was in that uh, other TV show also? Like, she, she's from Hollywood Flew Enough from the beginning, but uh, then she was in another show. Like, very recently. Oh yeah, she's in uh, also in uh, Biggest Loser as well. Like, it was a VIP thing. And she was very, very whiny. Oh yeah, she was in it. I didn't see the entire thing, but I saw that she was in it. So I'm just gonna do a more, a few more like temporary roads here, which we're gonna change later. But yeah, so we can move around quicker. We should really try to use the banner of cunning a little bit more, since that makes us move faster around. Can do it like that, and. Um, Maybe do it really, really wide in here for this space. Or let's go like this actually. Just all the way like up around here. So there will be separate roads so we don't have to remove like everything when we're gonna do it. So we can just remove that one and we can just remove this one separate. So then we need a few more cutters. Make it look a little bit better. Love popcorn. <laughs> We're having some popcorn. Oh, that's your stuff. Okay, so something like that should do. Pretty basic. Since you're going to get the choice later, Banto. Difficult choice. Legendary weapon or secret feature? Hmm. I kind of want to get the lead in their weapon. 
Uh, let's move these away. Since we're going to build under it. So we're going to move them here for now. Good choice. <laughs> because the feature is broken. <laughs> I guess it isn't, but yeah. So uh, this one, let's see what do we need. Oh, we're doing pretty good with stuff. Getting more wood. Works in my version. Nice. Make sure it works for the stream. Nice, man. I should have that update since I... I started the game after the stream started, pretty much. Okay, let's check in here. Thank you for the host, Nomadic. Very appreciated. So this one is done. I want to drop a door here. So now that it's done, we're going to have it here. I think we can have it already here. And instead of having it one in like that, we go like that. And it's going to match it nice together with the mine entrance. That's going to be nice. But by the way, to get the sugar, do we need to harvest like those uh, sugar bells? I think that's where we get sugar, right? Look at the amount of ores in this one. That's insane amount of ores. Is it like extra ores when you play the like the Highland biome? Yeah, glowing pink ones. Because this will be the home for the dwarves later, right? don't like when I see two things being crafted at the same time. Let's see how the carpenter is actually working. Collecting ingredients, okay. Yeah, the mason, crafting card, stone door. Okay, so the mason is working again, good. Vanilla Passon is doing her job again. That's more like it. Yeah, I guess we would rather prefer to do some more architectural designing instead. But do you do that? Do you do that in your school, or is that just like you do it from home? <laughs> Otherwise, you end up like Bona, fat and gaming. That's pretty chill, right? <laughs> Okay, so we got the road going here, and uh, then we want to do more here. Grab that one. And there's uh, a temporary road here. Like, we might keep it later, but probably temporary. And I'm not sure what you guys think about it, but I want to do some things like poking out like this from the road. Because it's not going to be a perfect road, because... I don't think a road like this with some Vikings would look... Like super perfect. There would probably be some spread out road a little bit everywhere. Why make it so wide? Because it looks good. <laughs> but I might keep it late. We will see. I just feel like I want to have it this wide. And maybe a little spot that will go out a little bit extra like this. I think we'll go like that. That's maybe good enough. And then we need the other corner. This one. But 3% love, that's not very much. So you like... You love creating a Lumion the same amount as you love going to school. So that means you should do both, right? Something that would be nice for this building designer would be like when you're designing things like this if all of the objects in the world were would be like hidden, 
Like, there is no reason I would like to see these things. That would be really nice. Hey, what is this thing? You see that? Is that casting a shadow when I hover over it? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, wait. Looked like it made a line there. Maybe it's time to like save and load the game, guys. Just to stay away from some trouble. Rose like, damn Banto, we know you want us randomized. We will do it for you. <laughs> we will help you. If it's like this one, we need like another cutter, like three cutters. But the one that isn't as common as the other ones. And I'm thinking of doing so. Got some little point here, it actually goes in quite a bit. There's not gonna be a perfect road going on here. And maybe here it goes in a little bit. Okay, so we got some invaders. Ooh, look at that. Look at that golem, that's a new one. He's solid. That's a lime golem. Got 40 more hours to do that little quest here. So I think after this battle, I'm just gonna do a save. I'm gonna load a game. He's solid, yeah. What we should also do after this battle is to put out a workbench for the, the herbalist because I don't think I got it out yet. Nope, an anvil for the blacksmith. Okay, let's follow back a little bit with Icy so uh, Wouter, our Jarl, can take over for a bit. It's nice to see our new shields in action. Okay, that one didn't last the dagger so long. You ordered some coffee cups this morning, nice. That's an okay deal, nice man. Was it some special print on them or just some just like a basic white or something? One times twenty cups times ten? What do you mean about that? Like times ten? Did you buy that ten times? Like two hundred cups? <laughs> Well, how do you mean? Oh, 1 times 20, yeah, that's true, that's still 20. <laughs> Two, 20 times 10. Did you buy 200 cups of coffee? What? What? Uh, what is this bar? They look at this... Look the same, they are random appearances at shield. Oh, okay, so sometimes they look different. That's nice. Looks like we got the blue version this time. Looking for... Looks forward to tier 3. Me too, man. Look at the entrance, looking good. Okay, Sif join, another girl. Always girls join in Bantus Kingdom. Every girl wants to be here. Uh, let's get the anvil. It's gonna be sitting here. For now, instead of the mountain and the herbalist, probably like pretty close to the farm, kind of close to the weaver would be good.
Maybe by the tree here would be nice. Um, we might maybe be able to do so. I'm gonna check it out very soon. We got two map tables of high quality, very nice. Maybe we can put one out for fun. I feel like these houses not fit for it though, but we can have it up here. Maybe to stand up here when I'm planning things. Look in his map. Ooh, that's a little Varanus. <laughs> nice. Okay, so um, let's see what we can do with the blacksmith. Um, let's just go in here first. We need more bundle of fiber, that's for sure. So we maintain some bandages and some tonics for now. And later we want to maintain some monster tokens. This is the energy, monster energy. Five of those. What about the map deck table, pure decoration? Yeah, I think they're pure decoration as far as I know. And it's from uh, the mod the Wouter made, Nordling Kingdom. Ooh, a lot of food. Feathers! Oh, I want to buy some feathers. That could be very useful later on. Ostrich feathers, duck duck feathers. Not sure if there's any difference like when you use them, but... I guess I went for the standard feathers. Ooh, we have a lot of things here. I'm gonna sell the clay, we don't want that for now. I got limestone. Packed sand. I'm gonna sell that one, I don't feel like we need it now. Or should we keep it? I guess we could keep it, just one item anyway. And we can harvest it, we can use it for the glasswork mod later. You need feathers for quivers, Nordlings don't use quivers, see your herbalist for their counts. Okay. It was these, right? Okay, so we need letter strip. So since we have axe froze, they will use these instead. And the axe froze are actually called skirmishes. So that one shouldn't be too hard to do, I think. Ooh, 158 gold, nice. And uh, we can sell the extra ones, we don't need them. And trade will be back in two hours, so hopefully I don't miss that, it's gonna be very soon. Uh, let's build this road, so we can uh, move around quicker. It's gonna be 15 wood. Let's see if we have some saplings put out. Nice. The game is really slow at the moment. Island pine tree. Ooh, look at that, that's a big one. Birch tree is gonna be nice. I think I'm gonna do that save and load I spoke about before. Maybe even a game restart would be good. Since we've been going now for almost three hours, maybe it's time to do a restart with the game. Maybe that would speed it up a bit. Oh wow, look how big it is. <laughs> like when you put out the oak trees in a normal game, you see how big the end, the end is for them. But uh, you don't see it for this tree. But I don't think it will grow bigger than that one is. A confused looking traveler. This sounds crazy, but I swear I saw an oversized pair of rabbit ears poking out behind the bush for a second on my way here. Reminds me of the old tales about rabbit people, you don't think? Maybe we should put some vegetable out. Yeah, let's do that. 
We already came to the bunny people. Nice. Trade returns. Yes, we want to get the plushies. Thank you. We're going to give some vegetables. Now we wait. We leave the veggies out past the edge of town overnight. I wonder if they'll still be here in the morning. So I think we'll do the game restart, uh, or the save and load at least, just after we have uh, built uh, done this road, I think. It's probably going to be the safest, I think. Look at that. It even comes out with some lights in the night with this one. That's cool. Nice little detail. You have enough storage sp uh, places, Banto? Um, I'm not entirely sure. We might have run out of it. Wow. Is it trying to open a space? See how long that took? There's still some place for food, it looks like. Wow, the game is super unresponsive now. But yeah, let's get better storage. Oh, I can't even open the menu. And I think I will go to like 25 Harflings or something. 24. Let's go for 24. That's gonna be our max. Ooh, wow, this save is taking a long time. Okay, let's uh, do an um, restart the game. It's gonna be pretty quick. Yeah, I feel the same is Grimur. Like, and if you do have this uh, mod, by the way, the obligation time tracker, you can activate your potions from up here. And if you click this little button down here, they will reuse that potion over and over. So if you have a lot of energy tonics, you can uh, you can keep them like sped up all the time so they use that potion whenever it's off cooldown you use it again. Uh, but let's do an um, restart the game. It's super unresponsive. Probably gonna restart it through uh, the Windows. Here we go. Yeah, you always need a little bit more time for everything. So you can have enough time to make your mod even more awesome than it already is. I think I want to do a new house very soon, by the way. Just as we get everything running smoothly, I want to get another house. Oh, we had... We had an auto save in the normal save as well. I'm gonna go for the normal save. So I have some ideas for making something I done a little bit similar before for a house. Where the roof is like is longer on one side than the other. Okay, so hopefully it's a little bit better now. 
It's still kind of slow, but it's a lot faster than before. Look at that, we have 20 water level. That's exactly what we wanted. I think it should be the same for each and every one. So everything should grow a little bit faster. Level 2 blacksmith, nice. Wait, did the restart actually make the trapper get promoted? Oh yeah, thin path there would be nice. Welcome back, Brent. But it feels like the restarting actually made so we could promote a trapper, I guess. Um, so I think this area here might be good enough for the trapper. It's a little bit different when you play with Pretty Days. Because depending on how wild it is, with all the different like vegetables, not vegetables, but like trees and bushes and stuff, it will be more wild. But this one says very wild, so that should work good for trapping the small game, bunnies and stuff. Huge wild nest is only needed. Huge wild nest. Oh, huge wildness. <laughs> it was like in two different uh, lines for me. So this should do very good then. I didn't even know there were more wild than this, that it would be possible to do even, like, get even higher with it. So that should be good for the trapper. Uh, we also want to, since we have a Trapper Plus mod, we want to do some things here. I don't recognize the background for the Trapper here. There's some blood and stuff. Oh, very wild this Max, okay. So, with the Trapper Plus we need some drying frames. Trapper block, we also need a smokery for smoking meat. A tanning tub, this one we can wait with. Uh, we do need to extract tannins. They are used for the trapper to create tanning tubs where leather can be turned into raw hide. And I prefer to keep like five. And then I do five of each of these. Small pelts, clean pelt, and also scaly skin. Yeah, I can I can add some boxes. Hopefully they will like, clean it up. Uh, let's see what we got for boxes now. Very small ones. So let's take the mason. Uh, that's going to be the easiest one to make a uh, good amount of storage fast. So let's put the main thing, actually like six of those. And we can put some of them, like maybe at least one or two down here for the food. And then we'll do some extra ones for all kinds of other things we need to store. And I don't think we need to do more, like, boxes here for food, because we want a lot of food to go inside here as well. And never added a shelf that we wanted to have the fuel on before. I wonder how that would look if we do one of these. We can drop fuel on that one. Missing veggies! We left out this veggie overnight, and in the morning they were gone, along with the basket. Strange. Very strange. Where did they go? Certainly no banner people didn't take it. So I'm thinking that we might put some of these boxes like on the road. Let's keep a lot of mixed stuff for now, just because it's really fast to get here. Or we could put them next to houses, that can also work. But since we will be building more houses around here, it would be good to have wood and stone around, close by. And even this thatch would be nice. So I'm gonna drop two boxes here. And then we're gonna do, I think, one or two down here. I can do one for now. For food. So what we're going to focus now then is to clean up the town a little bit from all this mess we got going on here. Look at that. 
beautiful mess. We might even drop like a box out here as well. A banto humor. Lär mig svenska på skolan. <laughs> learning Swedish on school. Are you really learning Swedish in school? I didn't think any country actually teached Swedish except for like Finland, maybe Norway and Denmark. Oh my god. He has noticed that I made coffee before, but I never drank from it, so now it's cold. <laughs> I think I might actually go and um, like make a cup of uh, tea. So if I go make a cup of tea, it's probably gonna be like between uh, like maybe three to five minutes that I will be away. And we'll be back with some hot, warm, delicious tea and uh, then we continue collecting things. But I will pause the game while I'm away. Oh, you ain't learning it in school? <laughs> I know a lot of people from Finland knows Swedish because uh, some parts of Finland actually speak that. There's one block that's a lot brighter than the other ones. That sounded a little bit weird, but I understand what you mean. Uh, I'm just gonna go make a little bit of tea then, and I will be back in, let's say, five minutes. So, be right back, guys. Guys, I'm back again and got my tea ready. Nice. Took some forest fruit tea. It's gonna be delicious, hot and warm and nice. So I think it's time very, very soon. After we got the storage up, we're gonna be gonna be building the next house after that. And I'm gonna drop some chests here. Next to houses. I generally think it looks kind of nice to have there. Went for lemonade myself. Nice. Hey, you're back. Yay. Yeah, I'm back, man. So before they start filling this too much, we're gonna make sure we don't have everything in them. So let's maybe have uh, this one to be... Let's go resources for both of these. Why not have everything in chest? Do you mean like uh, instead of these boxes? Or do you mean uh, the storage filter? Oh. Um, it's just like, it's gonna, in the end it's gonna be better I think. Like, I guess we can take these and fill everything. Yes, if you remember it later when we structure it up better. So let's go for everything in these four. That should be a lot more. 128 more items. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Gnome Wind Rice arrived with some really good wares, some really good wares. Oh look at that, the wooden cattle holder. That's the one I wanted for this house before to have. I really like that one. Oh, some twin rustic lampposts, gonna buy two of those. We have a lot of money really. Quensing station is cool, it gets cool really really fast, nice. Wooden shield display give a use to your training equipment. Oh, here's the um, like the tents from the Northern Kingdom. Supply bins, are they selling those? A Nordling throne for kings of old. Let's buy one of those. Uh, these tents, by the way. <laughs> if 
band from uh, Lars. Uh, how do these ones work, by the way? Is Are they okay to sleep outside in these? Or what's gonna happen with them? Okay, so then uh, let's use that, because that's gonna be some good amount of space for sleeping early on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make some runestone probably. This is one of uh, the things with the Northern Kingdom that still sells for a huge amount of money. And it's super easy to do. Outside tent, yes, a small herbalist base of downside. Yes, what should the death phrase? What is death phrase? Is that an anime? Invaders? Oh, we got some wolves. So, was it good, man? So, yes, don't get downed. <laughs> uh, a movie action? Yeah, I watched it third time. Oh, nice. That must be pretty good if you watch it three times. Wouter is Jarl level 2, that took a while. So this thing here, I'm not entirely sure what this is used for. Is this used for like making um, like a use or something? Use? Decoration at the moment. So what's will it be later? A secret blends for it, oh interesting. Okay, so I'm not gonna put it out for now then. Uh, we bought, I think we bought, yeah, we bought these. Look at them, nice tents. Oh, it's a, even a tiny little, I think it's a little bed roll in it, looking good. So, um, I feel like I want to put them uh, up here, along the road. Like a little bit of distance, but very close to the road. This is where they will be camping before they have a real home. I want to see them sleep in this one later. And something we should also do is to assign these abandons to people, because if we assign them to people, they will not feel uh, bad like sleeping in a shared bed and stuff like that. So um, let's put the, some people to be here. And mainly I'm going to go with workers first, I think. I guess we can go for the cook in this one, because it's really, really close to where we're cooking. And in here, let's see, let's go for both of the soldiers in this one. So I see, and uh, then we're also gonna have Wouter sleeping down there. It feels like the Jarl should be sleeping up here though. So let's go for the Wouter to sleep up here, and then Ice is gonna be downstairs. So it's getting a little bit more cleaned out, a little bit, not much. Wow, look at them. They're already full. Okay, more storage guys, more storage. Um, we still have to put one down here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have to... We have to do that normal ladder, I forgot to do it. We haven't even been down here yet. So I hope that is gonna work, or do I have to go... I hope that's gonna be good enough. <laughs> Every time someone runs close, it just opens. Hello, hello, hello. Just speaks to them. It's some ghost here. Like it keeps opening. Must be ghost here. I think they might need this ladder to go up, like one, maybe one step further. But if that's the case, it feels like this one isn't. Working super good. 
It feels like I'm in talking with you in like Discord, but I just have my headset on. Uh, hopefully they're gonna be able to put this here. Or do I need to be like an staircase? Feels like I do need to build something there. This is kind of weird. I'm asking that takes, uh, but that wouldn't work. Like, if they can build some downstairs, they. can't get it to, you know how to get it to work but I can't describe it without a diagram uh, I feels like this is pretty stupid um like we could be like a staircase up there probably the easiest way to do it I'm gonna guess Except they can't get down there to build it. Oh, nice. <laughs> God damn it. Can you undeploy the hatch? Maybe? Let's start with removing that thing. Let's see what's gonna happen. We do have an undeploy order on it. Oh, because they can't do the ladder? I think if I teleport one down... Oh wow, look at her! <laughs> she don't care that I teleport her. I think if I rally... And do it like that, it works. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. If I remove undeploy now, can she get out? Haha, I did it! Look at that water! Well done! <laughs> but they will remove this, right? If I just leave it as it is, I have to add a new one, right? Because I think they will remove it if I don't do it. What was an uh, what was a Dutch meme? Uh, let's see here. So I don't know. Let's see if they let it stay. I don't think they will let it stay. I'm just going to build, uh, let's see, an extra one there. Hopefully they can also use that one, and if they remove the first one, they will uh, use that one. So that means we have a lot more storage down there. And this one, when I want to keep some fuel in this one, and it's for cooking, so... And let's see which one that would be. 
I guess a bundle of fire would be pretty good, right? I think that should do good. Oh, we beat the daily goal. Is it a girl again? No, it's a guy this time. Nice. Valdemar. Askia. Six body, six spirit. That's a really, really good soldier. And a loner. So, Valdemar doesn't really care for the combat of others. They prefer to be by themselves. Okay, but that's good. Now we can use the storage down there. That's gonna help a lot. And we could fill up with more chests down there, we should have a few more. Oh, no, I don't have one, but I, I guess I could name one. I normally don't do it. I normally save every name for everyone else. I guess I could name one Banto. Maybe this new guy. That can be Banto the loner. <laughs> Firewood. Clearly has to go in one of the clay boxes. Potter. I like his little armor this guy got. It's like a ring mail, I think. And a functional blacksmith now, right? Yeah, I hope so. Let's go deal with his little cap. I love his little hat he got. Time to up armor and arm your army, yeah. Get some better weapons and protection. And maybe get a skirmisher that throws axe. Ooh, is that cotton? Wild cotton, nice. I'm gonna move that over to my to my base. Do they have comms yet? Yeah, I think at least one of them have. I did put to craft it before at least. Yeah, we got some wooden runic comps. <laughs> Love that I am happy walk. Yeah, that's nice. Like that walk, right? No, she stopped doing it. <laughs> A swag walk. <laughs> Uh, let's see here, do you want to buy a um, leather-bound chest? That's a good buy, good amount of storage. They're the same as the stone chest. I think they should nerf the stone chest. I don't think the stone chest should have 64 items. I think it should just be 48 and the leather-bound should be 64. I think that would make more sense because the stone chest, it feels like it's a little bit too easy to make it with the amount of storage you got in it. Okay, let's see, do we have some nice craft and stuff? Two of those nice shields. Uh, I'm gonna keep, like, I think when we get the highest quality of some stuff, I'm gonna keep them and replace them. Because that's gonna make our people happier. And uh, these we wanna sell. I'm gonna sell that one, even though that was a high quality. So we have a load of gold now. It's level 2. So let's see with the blacksmith now, then. So Wouter will... Rest with the blacksmith. <laughs> so let's go in here and see what we're gonna do. We need to melt some iron because we haven't started with that. Love. <laughs> we need good grade fuel. And we could make that with the comparator. I think he said the um, charcoal, right? So let's put to maintain 10. I feel like that's a good amount that will keep the... Blacksmith busy. Let's move that to the top so that's highest priority. So we don't care as much for copper and tin for now. But we would probably use that uh, bronze for making some nice weapons. Seems like we don't have any yet, okay. So uh, we're gonna fix a few things. 
strange trading. Okay, we're just gonna talk with this guy. There's so many things going on. A small hooded figure approaches meekly. I have heard of your vegetables, she says. Allow me to take some, and by my honor, it will be worthwhile to trade. Sure thing, take some for us. Yeah, you can take five vegetables. I don't care if he takes five of them. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Bunny. The visitor nods, dropping a few small pouches of gold dust into your hand as payment before pounding, bounding away. Basket in arm. Three gold flakes. Thank you. Okay, first thing. Carpenter. Let's see if we can make this charcoal. Oh, this one, right? The charcoal mound. Requires ten wood and it's good we went inside here because that's the way we know we need more wood now. So, um... Let's make just three of them, that's gonna be 30 wood to start with. And then we will harvest these and get some charcoal. Oh, do we have the market souls? I wanna see if we have them soon. But let's start with chopping down a few trees. I will keep that one though, it looks kinda nice there. Those will go. The trees grow a little bit slower with Project A, so this biome feels like they're growing a little bit slower, but I don't mind. I think they sometimes grow a little bit too fast without, uh, like normally, it feels like they grow faster, and I feel like it's maybe too fast normally. Giant wolf, okay. Okay, let's deal with him. Bound to just in away in new ways when he was about to work with the blacksmith. <laughs> Depends on the weather, maybe. You did not have a lot of rain. Yeah, that could be it. But I think, like, most stuff that makes this game a little bit harder is good, because... A lot of things in this game has been too easy and not too much progress progression when doing things. So, I welcome some more harder games. Like, not only for combat lag, but for crafting and everything. Because it's more fun when you have something to progress towards instead of having everything like directly. Because that's how I feel like the base game is without some of the mods like Trapper Plus. Like the Trapper is really boring in the standard game without Project Ace maybe. And also with um, without the Trapper Plus mod. I think it's a lot more fun when you have that mod. It's why I made the MRF mod, yeah. And I'm not using it. <laughs> not in this town, at least. How are they not drowning? Because every one of these guys were born as Aquaman. Feels like my game is freezing now, guys. There might be a crash incoming. Stone Hearth is not responding. I'm gonna wait it out and see if it starts responding. Black Mad Voodoo Powers, stop the crash. <laughs> I hope so, but uh, considering how it's looking right now, I don't think it's gonna start working again. I'm gonna see how my computer is working. The CPU is working a lot at least, my graphics card is working not so much. Okay, let's just restart the game. We do have auto save on. Always keep auto save, guys, because if you don't, you will lose a lot of time. And I don't think we lost too much time now. I think we were saved pretty recently. Banto, you should just play Minecraft. Uh, it's kind of fun, Minecraft, but I feel like Minecraft it lacks a lot of purpose while you're doing things. That's why I think Hytale is gonna be such a much better game, like cool items to get, cool bosses to fight, perhaps even quests. It seems like there are gonna be some kind of quest and maybe some storyline to it. Really cool different biomes and a lot of fun exploration. And maybe a little bit more survival than Minecraft because Minecraft survival, it, <laughs> it doesn't really exist, like it's super easy. I tell, I don't think that will be a free game. I think it's probably gonna be around like thirty dollars. Yes, a while I guess. I don't think it's a sixty dollar game, but um, it could be free to play. But I'm not sure. They might decide that they're gonna, you know, 
sell like uh, customizable skins, whatever, and it could be a free game. Uh, but I I feel like twenty to thirty dollars would maybe be good for it. Yeah, I don't mind if it's free, like as long as it um, doesn't like hurt the game for being free, like give people advantage or make you like spend a more money than you would pay like if you would like pay for the game directly instead and then it ends up being more expensive because most people like to play Fortnite pays more for that game than they pay for any other game they've ever played <laughs> because those battle passes those skins and stuff end up being way more I think there were like some calculation before like how much the skins if you buy everything for Fortnite I think it's like was around 3,000 or 4,000 euro for every skin in the game if you would buy them and that was like a half year ago and there's new stuff so it's pretty ridiculous so <clears throat> free to play <laughs> it is free to play but it's not free to enjoy <laughs> I guess for Fortnite you don't really need skins though Yeah, I mean, if you did buy that um, Save the World that you got, you can get a lot of for free. Uh, last time I played, took a beating with a Dragon Egg side quest. Uh, the Tekken Skeleton guy in spawn with a, a 12,000 HP hard difficulty. First time I run into problem worth mentioning. That sounds pretty crazy. Uh, let's see what we're missing here. Uh, wooden dresser, stone oven, Nordling chair. Okay, let's see. We did fight the wolf. It seems we killed him, so there was a good out to save there. I'm just gonna do a normal save now, also, so we have a normal one. Always safe to have two saves. Okay, so there we go. The mound will be at the very, very top. Okay, the market saws haven't been crafted yet. Hmm, it looks like the carpenter, according to that list, is actually not crafting anything. Maybe our carpenter is having some issues. It says he's collecting ingredients now, though, so I guess it's fine. Perhaps we could take this and just move it like next to the road for now, that should help him a bit. And also get a supply place where we will try to keep a lot of wood. So I think he will be working on the road for now. Uh, stone hearth? I will have to check it out, but I think it's like 20 or something or less. Like, they lowered the price quite a bit uh, when they released it. It's... Oh! <laughs> trailer starting for my time port. Yeah. <laughs> it cost... Um, 16.79. Directly on Steam. So, I would say it's like a really cheap game and you get a lot for that money. So I think that is definitely like if you're interested, it's a pretty good, pretty good buy, you know. It's not many games that are this good that cost that little amount of money. So let's see here. We want to keep some wood and um, let's do one of these or two of them. I guess we can just do one. So. 
We don't keep our halfling too busy with filling up two of them. Yeah, it could be pro troublesome with like your laptop because this game it uh, really, 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 really requires a lot on your CPU because the game is super heavily like a single core. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty much normally your computer have like four cores, like four onions, and um, the game only uses one of them. Yeah, there was a new subscriber on YouTube, Sardiant Yitters. <laughs> so, as long as you limit yourself to six, dude, yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, but that's the biggest problem with this game, like, even if you have a super, like, good CPU, like, you have a lot of cores that normally runs really well with many games. The game runs on one core, so it doesn't matter, like, you need to have a strong... One strong single core and a few extra for the other things, and um, I would say a pretty high clock speed in the CPU because that makes it faster also. A real old one with a lot of viruses. <laughs> Okay, we get a voice talking to us here. A voice whispers at the edge of your mind. Oh, oh, what is this guy? What? What? What is this? Dragonborn King? What? What is this? A ghostly voice? <laughs> what? Please help me. My castle has come under siege by undead minions of evil. Dragon Age quest? My god! I didn't know something like this existed at all. Almost getting a little bit of goosebumps for this. And uh, let's see here. Who, what? What, where, how? We're on our way. Let's ask a bit about it. I am a spirit from the time. I'm a spirit from a time and people long past. I have lingered here for the countless ages, guarding that which has was most precious to us. But my powers has waned, and now has come under siege. Please lend me your assistance. Under siege? There's no time. The undead claw at my gates, and I have no strength left to defend the trove once they make it through. I beg for your help. This guy looks like Thanos. Maybe he will snap his finger. And take us all out. We're only half of us, I guess. Uh, so, I, you know, I definitely want to help this guy. Copper dragon egg. So mysterious, maybe the king can hatch it. Hmm. How hard is this thing to do? Should we click send help? Will that just be too much for us? Can we wait with him? Let's just wait a bit. Then Banto, we can say... Then we can say Banto, I don't feel so good. <laughs> yeah. Mm, let's see first, with the blacksmith, we're gonna try to make things. Uh, so maybe one Ein Harja axe. A large double-headed axe, usable by Ein Harja, which is um, pretty much the um, Nordling tank, if I remember. Instead of a knight, we have this one. The skeleton is attacking the door. This one is time limited. Okay, so we have to mess with him very soon. Okay. We need the leather strip. Okay, let's go. I think it's a trapper. Is it a weaver? So let's make three of these, that will give us nine leather strips. This one needs two of those, and this one needs none of those, okay. Uh, let's look into some uh, upgraded weapons. So this is just a uh, choice of uh, what we like, like what we favor for visuals. 
Let's go for some bronze viking swords. And both our Jarl and our Fitman can use that one. They're still called Fitman, right? Oh, so they're called Huskarl? Is that what they're named instead? A special abilities? Hmm. And uh, Iron Banded Round Shield, that's something we want to do as well, two of those. So we're just gonna move them to the top, so they will be highest priority. I'm gonna pause the game now. Because if it's time limited, we wanna pause it and do as good as we can with the time we have. All special weapons and ace have a special attribute. Accents make you move faster, so more swords, hamstrings, and me. Oh, so hamstring like slow them down? That's something I wanted for the game like forever, like <laughs> I said that so many times that I wanted. Two-handed axes add a bleed. Oh, cool. Uh, so then we want to have at least like one sword. And maybe a two-handed weapon, but uh, this will be bleed from this one then. And I guess they don't stack like you can get like a double hamstring. I don't think you can get that, right? So let's go for one sword and one spear. Two-handed weapon. Oh, that's actually not two-handed, is it? Because this is single-handed. So we have to go for two swords for now. And here we got an Iron Great access for later, we can queue up to do one of those, that will give some bleed attack. But I, I really like that idea of having different effects. Because the game before this was always like, you get the highest amount of damage, don't think about anything else. <laughs> Which was really boring. And uh, let's see here, we can make some armor soon maybe? Oh, they require the same amount of level. I guess we could... Okay, but this one is for level 2. So let's make two of these, and then we're gonna make two of these. And then we're gonna make some comms, we're gonna start with this one, and then we're gonna make uh, runic iron as well. So a lot, a lot of crafts to be done. So this is what the one you need an enhanced furnace for, for crafting more, that's nice. Business blacksmith in the lab. <laughs> At least he has something to do, I mean, if you work and then you have nothing to do, that becomes a very boring day and you feel like when you're at work then it feels like, oh, what am I doing here? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> then he might be a good level when you hit tier 3, yeah. And I think we should deal with this camp up here. Um, I'm not sure if we can do it at this point. Because our herbalist, I don't think, has leveled up very much yet. Nope, not level 2 yet, but we want to make sure we make a book later. We can do some seeds, that might give a little bit of XP for herbalist. A little bit of mix here. Yeah, he doesn't make a lot of potions, but we do need to be level, level 2 for this one, for... I guess we can do more of those. And sell them, yeah. But these ones we're gonna try to maintain so we can use them. I think 18 potion was a level, so I'm pro probably like 3 potions away from 11 now then. If they made 15, that is. So if we can go like that, and let's check the Weaver, can we do more things? I'm gonna make sure those go to the top there. I was thinking that maybe we can queue up to do more Fred. Okay, we don't have so much, so I guess we're not gonna do that. 
Yeah, we need to make two more round shield. That's true, so we can upgrade them. I think you should change, by the way, when you have time, change the color for this one. So the decorative one and the wooden one. Like, they look a little bit different. Like, they look different here a little bit, but uh, on the small picture, they are very. Very similar. Good idea. Yeah. Finding out new ideas on Banto stream, always nice. <laughs> uh, let's see. The training dummy, you said we can't use it. I'm gonna make one anyway, but it's gonna be at the bottom. I would like to make it like a training pit that would look cool at least. Let's make a few more swords, as we have some spare ones. Uh, Shepherd Crook, I'm not sure if I made one before, so I'm gonna make one. Oh, now it's lagging a bit. Uh, let's see here, I was thinking of this, I wanna see this box I saw there. Ornate leather bound chest. 64 items, so it's the same as the other one, but it looks more beautiful. Quite a lot more beautiful. That could be maybe good craft to do. Uh, but we don't want to spend the bolt of leather on that, so I'm not going to do it. And for the trapper, this has probably been the longest pause we had so far in game. For the trapper, we want to put out these things. So the trapper will finally start working on uh, like putting out pelts and stuff. And we should make a little bit of a road here and also at the farm, like Walter said before, we should also do. This always reminds me of uh, the game Salem that I played a lot. Really, really nice game. So that will be for the trappers. And uh, there should be this other thing. Is it not crafted yet, maybe? Uh, the tannin tub, I think it's called. Okay, we don't have the level, okay. And also this one will be placed later. Uh, let's see, so we have all of the things we need here. Then we could queue up to do some helmets for later on. They will actually make the trapper a little bit better. This one will uh, give a little bit of speed. This will give a little bit of uh, the Lydians. Small speed increase and compassion, nice. So, we can start with these. Yeah, that was fast, Wouter. Nice, man. So those two and uh, I think that should be good. And maybe we want to maintain perhaps some... I think th they can do sausage. So, like, maintain ten of those. Could be at the bottom for now. Stream ain't going good, isn't it? How do you mean, man? L I'm not sure if we need to gather those stones. Let's gather some of these mushrooms, that would be tasty, very nice. Yeah, it's fine. I think... People are maybe as busy with something, like the last time we were like 30 people, and today it says we're only 4. Um, I was thinking before if it's because I'm using that low latency thing that is screwing something up. It was mostly 10 today. Yeah, it was more before, I think. Yeah, like the last stream it was, uh, I think the top was 30. And um, the average with 19. Yeah, it was very busy here. <laughs> uh, but I'm not sure, like, I guess people are busy, they don't watch every day. But I'm also wondering if something is weird because I'm using low latency, because I know when I turned that on, like a long time ago, and I tried it as well. I got less, less views that time. So I'm not sure if it's related to that, but 
Every time when I turn it on, it has been less. So I'm wondering if some people can't watch it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try the other one tomorrow. But I'm still having fun, I'm still having fun and it's gonna be up on YouTube this video later, so that's gonna also be nice. Uh, do I wanna buy something? We could buy some nice furniture. Oh, some more of these uh, tents would be nice. No, we haven't we haven't placed any throne yet. I'm not sure if we have a good place for it. And I think I will wait with selling things because the carpenter is really really busy. So I don't think I wanna stress him anymore right now. Oh no, they're leaving. Um, I'm not sure if this will mess up the game or not, but maybe we can go up here and kill them. If we just wait with this. Is it a bad idea? Oh yeah, the timer-based thing. Okay, let's keep doing that. The timer thing is more, more worth than these guys. Okay, good riddance. So they moved away. And let's deal with this wolf. We gotta take care of him at least. But how do we know how long the timer is? This. Oh, oh he's. Okay. Sorry guys, I didn't miss this. Um. Uh, Wow, that sword. I guess we should go down now then. And I think we need to promote more soldiers. So this guy I'm gonna name Banto, I'm gonna be a soldier. Newly recruited the soldiers are going to battle with the big big um, skeletons. Yeah, let's see. Okay, we're making a book, so that's good, man. We're getting the cleric soon, then. Let's see, can we do one more soldier? I feel, feel a little bit more safe if we have more soldiers doing this. So, Ragnhild is also gonna be a footman. Okay, no book ready yet. Okay, let's see if we have the book now, might be ready. Oh, they're ready now, okay. That's why they weren't crafting it. I wonder if I... If I change the stream now to remove the low latency thing, if it will... work on a current stream, or how that's gonna work. Okay, so I have uh, turned it off. Uh, not sure if it works on a current stream or not, but um, I'm gonna leave it as it is now and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Vidar. It's a level 1 Hurst Carl, I think. Level 1 Villager. Oh, okay, he has a nice clothing on. That's nice. Uh, I just paused the stream or the. 
the game before? It's still streaming. So we will see what happens if it's gonna change anything. It's not sure that it will do anything until you like restart the stream. But tomorrow I will uh, I will go without uh, low latency and see if it's any difference. And perhaps I will also do like multi streams so it's both on uh, both on YouTube and on Twitch. Not 11 on a Friday night. <laughs> okay, so this one next to the Weaver, uh, we want to have Silkweed pretty much. Bundle of Fiber. Wait. No, I failed. I took too long, guys. Ugh. <laughs> oh no. Do I have an out save? How long ago was that save? I'm gonna see like how long ago that was. Like maybe we can just rush down and you know try to fight them, see what happens. Yeah, we did. I didn't want to rush into them. Like, if we, if they were really wrong, because they could have, uh, you know, they could have destroyed our entire town. Also, I think I will go in for this one, and we do, we do another save before we, before we decide to go to them. It could already be here too late. Like, we have a few stack of the messages also. This is why I bother you about the arms and armor. They are still there. I mean, we could we could just rush them and hope for the best. And we're gonna do another save here. This one will be named. Do it like that, so we can remember it. And then we have to send them all down directly. We can't wait for the cleric even. get down in time. I think we can miss it exactly. Oh, we're really low on health on some people when we come down directly. Let's see how dangerous this guy is. Okay, they are quite dangerous. Fall back with Router a little bit. But we kind of need to like uh, hurt the big guy. Okay, the Salt Lord is kind of with us almost. Uh, should we attack him? I don't feel like we can do it yet. Oh wow. <laughs> I guess we can't deal with them, guys. So we're just gonna go with um, folks on the small ones, like these ones. Yeah, they were really, really strong. I think these guys are super strong. 
I don't think we can actually deal with them. Uh, but we can give another try. But I don't think it's gonna work. I think we need better armor. And uh, like a higher level of the cleric as well. It would only like work if we are able to like aggro with one guy and then we just keep running around all the time and aggro that, but that's not gonna work since we don't have a uh, knight pretty much. <laughs> so sorry dragon dude, you're dead. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen with him. He's gonna go down. So I think we will try just one more time. It's probably not gonna work, and if it doesn't work, we're just gonna load the same, the same we had before that. Um, was when uh, we lost the battle, so we don't lose our town at least. <laughs> but it's a pretty cool thing. I didn't know about that thing at all. It's nice to see some like interesting things in the world and some cool quests pop up. And I wonder if this is like just a one-time thing, it can no never happen more than one time. Yeah, I'm just ignoring your Swedish, mes Swedish messages. <laughs> okay, let's see, Salt Lord, let's make you cleric again. This is not gonna work, you know, but... Uh, we're gonna try to like, before we go... Take that little tiny little extra time. Make sure we have the cleric with us and then everyone is with us. Never had it happen more than once run, okay. I would like to heal that guy a little bit. Doesn't want any healing it seems. So let's see if we can like grab aggro from a single one, like a big one. Maybe kill the small ones first. Gonna give it a go. Okay, so let's go for whoops. Let's see the health they got. 560. Oh that guy hasn't doesn't really have that much health. Are they different these guys? Oh he, I think he has broke it though. Wow, they're hitting really hard. Okay, we're not gonna be able to deal with them. So we're just gonna go with that one, that one we had from the beginning. I hope they're not gonna attack our town by the way, because then we're gonna be screwed. So at least I know this maybe for you know a future town when we play it or if it's gonna happen twice but probably not gonna happen twice like um, it's in a chat that you never seen it happen more than one time so probably not gonna happen more than one time for us either I think. But it's cool to have like an, uh, a thing like that pop up that uh, you have a limited time, you have to deal with it quick. So next time we will try to get some good armor really early on and good weapons. 
Game probably assumes you have a strong army of eight li eight links. Yeah, maybe. They stay in the area unless you lure them to town. Oh, because we don't want to lure them then. It's a really cool monument, by the way. I really like how this one looks. Pretty cool. And uh, that one is unique to like the biome, right? To the highland. Because it matches with uh, the limestone. So I think we should get like a new, new, um, you know, a new herbalist. I think Vigdis could do pretty good as one. Well. Six in spirit should be really, really good. So I might even keep like an herbalist just for getting this potion, the energy tonics and things. And also maybe for healing tonics, but mostly for these tonics. Because that would be good buffs for stamina, courage, and also for uh, the strength one. But uh, any of the tonic will be running all the time, so we can move around quicker also. Herbalist level 1. So then we want to make a load of new potions. Let's yes, make 30 of those. That will give a lot of XP. Hopefully to level 2, that should do. Okay, that should do good. Let's see the cook. Can we do more with the cook now? Uh, we can do a lot more like uh, vegetable stew, but uh, I think we should prioritize to do that with our normal cook. Looks like our cook is doing four things at the same time. <laughs> I'm just gonna clear this one out actually. It's a little bit safer. So this one we're gonna increase how many we can do 50 of those and this one we're gonna do let's do 50 of that one as well and this one we're gonna do 20 the bone marrow boiled shrooms oh let's do like 15 of those because i want to have a lot of food and uh, keep my people happy because it gives more food than the raw food does Fair enough. <laughs> Our tavern need a good supply of good food, you know. Probably tweak it later, but for now I think that would be nice. And this food-based economy. Yeah, we can sell a lot of uh, nice, hot, uh, warm wolf later of high quality. So let's see what is my blacksmith actually doing. I have a lot of things to craft, collecting ingredients. Probably need to put in some more shelves in here. So he can work faster because now it's running around a lot. So we can have some like some fuel and we can have some ores and maybe even some ingots in one of them. I might drop like uh, two normal chests here also. Let's craft some new storage. So let's do that with uh, the mason. I want to make my blacksmith more busy than he already is. And the carpenter looks like he's still very busy. I haven't even finished this one. I think the house down here. Nordlingshire wooden dresser stone oven. So we might need to add a new stone oven. So let's do that. It's gonna do one of each. Let's see. Do we even have the share in here? Here it is. I'm gonna remove uh, these for now. As we can move through the things we need for the houses a little bit faster. Wooden dresser. So 
So that should go pretty quick now. When we when we done that. But guys, I think I'm gonna end the stream for today, and um, then I will be back tomorrow again with a new live stream at 6 p.m. Central European time, we will continue this town and um, hopefully have a good time. And we will see how it's gonna work when you're not using low latency, if there's gonna be any difference at all. No! <laughs> it was a lot of fun, we did like f over four hours today. Have a good sleep, Panto, and I will probably see you tomorrow. I hope to see you as well. And uh, I will be back tomorrow again, so... Thanks for being here today, guys, and see you soon again. Is... Is Grimur? See you soon again. See you soon, Brent and Walter. So thanks for being here, and uh, hope to see you guys soon again. 6 p.m. Central European time tomorrow. Have a good, good night, and see you guys soon again. Take care, everybody.